fact uh, the home ministry is uh, tapping in the oh that is only that, that, that these are the figures that we have got only in the month of december how would you react to this you see the heart the truth is that once you are in air when you was right once you are riding on the electromagnetic spectrum it is everybody's property and uh, you know um, uh, everybody has to be uh, is liable to be intercepted that that is the hard truth because air waves don't belong to anybody you should be speaking right, right. right. no 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 i'm not talking this is listen to me just let me complete okay i'm not talking in legal terms this is the fact uh, uh, you know it's not only your own ministry what about your you know adversaries across everything is uh, liable to be intercepted because mm. that is the, that is a techno technological truth okay now but the second fact is that what needs to be asserted and investigated is mm. that how many of these phones were intercepted for political reasons mm. or for say internecine industrial espionage mm. or for you know other reasons Like I tell you, out that ten thousand phones that you have said, and you know, yes, we are living in very abnormal times when you know uh, the terrorism is a form of uh, the modern war, and uh, it is an imperative that um, uh, we 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 tap any phones. Yeah. But you know, you don't spe uh, tap many specific telephones to get your. Uh, 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 intelligence inputs. It is, it is you know, there is there is something called a sweep, uh, sweep interception. All right. So in sweep, in uh, when when you are uh, you know uh, when you are doing sweep interception, right. everybody is vulnerable, and maybe maybe the country has to pay a little price on their liberty as far as their security is concerned. But the government cannot continue with this state of affairs, you know, in the name of security for very long. right either, either you handle the security problems hmm. and and tell the nation tell the nation that look this is an inconvenience we will be putting you for some time okay but in the name of security you cannot do political you know interception for political reasons or say for industrial espionage or you know to settle scores with, uh, with people so we right. have to draw a very very fine distinction Absolutely, it's a very thin line that we're talking about, Mr. Singh, because uh, what happened after the Neera Radia case uh, the, for the three agencies under the Finance Ministry, ED, DRI, and uh, C CBDT, any request that they make has to be now routed to the Revenue Secretary. Of course, this came after the entire Neera Radia uh, case uh, came up. So, you, what do you think now that the, there are uh, these information that we have about 10,000 phones? There, you, do you think there should be similar? Uh, Similar sort of a filter for other agencies as well. Uh, obviously, of course, there should be filter. You cannot have a you know a, 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 a blanket uh, sanction to uh, all these security agencies. What I am saying, these are abnormal times. But please tell the nation. Yeah. Absolutely. In a okay. democratic country, hmm. please tell the nation that Absolutely. this is an hmm. inconvenience we will put you through. Absolutely. Like now, when you go to the airport, you have a series of security checks. That's right. Yes, you have to sacrifice some amount yeah. of liberty. That That's is understandable. But to use security, uh -huh. you know, reasons for for you know uh, settling political scores or for political oh, aspirations, as 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 that is not acceptable at all. All okay. right, all right, uh, Mr. Singh. I can see all my panelists also agreeing in cohesion with that. Uh, but uh, there is a very fine line that the agencies really have to walk in order to ensure. that uh, the li the line between the personal liberty the right to liberty is not crossed uh, when going ahead with such kind of uh, for phone tapping thank you so much mr singh and also mr hegre and uh, everybody in fact uh, also uh, here uh, mr mishra joining us here on newsx and sharing your perspective on the story and now coming on uh, to the railway budget uh, and uh, our uh, news ex correspondent uh, ridhma tomar uh, caught up with the railway minister after the budget the minister said that it is incorrect to call it a populist budget let's listen in
All right, we'll just try to play that exclusive interview that News X correspondent uh, Ridma Tomar had uh, with the Railway Minister. Now, it was a very important, significant uh, day for uh, the Railway Minister Pavan Bansal uh, there because uh, he pay presented his uh, maiden budget. And of course, uh, this was in uh, so many years, after 17 years, uh, that any Congress leader presented uh, that uh, railway budget. Now, the BJP and the opposition have uh, really slammed the budget, uh, saying that it is a more of a populist budget, keeping in uh, view uh, the uh, keeping in view really the elections. In fact, BJP came down heavily on Railway Minister Pavan Kumar Bansal, termed the budget as a rival really budget, and accused Bansal of ignoring NDA rule states. The industry's body also gave a mixed response to the rail budget. Let's uh, listen in to what they said. Uh, we do have Mr. Prakash uh, Javadekar from BJP. Uh, so budget has been presented and uh, as your party is saying that it's somehow a budget for Raibareli only. So what? No, because Raibareli means how many places do you have to be in one place? They have made a rail ministry, but this is a little bit of a way. And that's why railway is a country of the country. और उसको देश भर में विकास होने का अवसर होना चाहिए वो नहीं कर रहे केवल आप राय बरेली करोगे उसमें क्या मतलब है ये करके भी उत्तर प्रदेश में आपके दस सीट के पांच ही सीट होने वाले हैं सर हाज दिस इज व्हाट यू हैव बीन एक्सपेक्टिंग आउट ऑफ दिस या वी वर एक्सपेक्टिंग रियली मोर बिकॉज दिस फर्स्ट टाइम दी कांग्रेस रेलवे मिनिस्टर वॉज देयर एंड दे कुड हैव अनलीज द रियल रिफॉर्म्स थ्रू लार्ज बजट सपोर्ट बट विच दे हैव नॉट डन And uh, depending upon only PPP, which has not been success in railways, is not a very good idea. And they are not uh, increasing the passenger fares for now, but they will increase it in May. So, sir, there is no fare hike, but there would be sir, a certain hike on surcharges. No, no, that is surcharges are increased right from today, but the other uh, the fares will also go up in May. Yeah. As the BJP is saying that uh, the budget is not something that they have been expecting. This is Vijayalakshmi with Kamal Prasun Pawan for News X from New Delhi. इसी सरकार ने रेलवे को यहाँ लाकर खड़ा कर दिया है, जब ये हमारी अर्थव्यवस्था का एक बीमार अंग बन गया है. बीमार बनाने की जिम्मेदारी किसकी है? यूपीए सरकार की है, प्रधानमंत्री की है, श्रीमती सोनिया गांधी की है, कि उन्होंने पहले � पहले ही वृद्धि कर चुके हैं पिछले छह हफ्ते में तो ये कहना कि किराए में वृद्धि नहीं हुई तो सब लोग खड़े होकर ताली बजाएं वो नहीं होगा छुपे ढंग से उन्होंने फिर किराए में वृद्धि की है संसद के जो सदस्य थे वो नाराज हुए रेल मंत्री से और वो अंत में वेल ऑफ द हाउस में आ गए और नारे लगाने लगे और नारा क्या लग रहा था कि ये रेल बजट नहीं है ये रायबरेली बजट है क्योंकि उन्होंने बार बार रायबरेली का जिक्र किया श्रीमती सोनिया गांधी को खुश करने का प्रयास करते रहे Breaking news coming in at this moment. Uh, NCP chief uh, Sharad Pawar is not pleased with the railway budget. He raised the issue of Maharashtra being neglected in the rail budget. He also raised questions on what the government was doing about the drought situation in Maharashtra. Now, these all issues uh, were raised during UPA's uh, coordination committee meeting. So, this is the latest that we have. Uh, NCP chief. Uh, uh, Sharat uh, Pawar, uh, you can see, uh, they are not uh, happy with the railway budget. Uh, they said uh, that uh, the, the party has uh, said very categorically that uh, their state uh, have been uh, really ignored uh, in the budget. Let's uh, get up, uh, more details uh, from uh, Vijay, who is... Uh, Vijay Lakshmi was uh, in fact joining us uh, on the phone line. Uh, Vijay Lakshmi, now uh, NCP there unhappy with the budget. Uh, what else uh, did uh, the NCP chief uh, said today? Well, of course, there has been a UPA coordination committee meeting at 7 RCR today, which uh, started somewhere around 7 o'clock and which ended after three hours, um, three uh, hours or so. And uh, what we are learning from our sources that NCP chief uh, Mr. Sharad Yadav has raised the issue of how the Maharashtra has been neglected in the entire rail budget. Mm -hmm. In fact, before the UPA committee, uh, UPA coordination committee meeting started, there have been rumors that Mr. Sharad Pawar is not going to be there in the meeting as he is unhappy with the how the how Maharashtra has been neglected in the entire rail budget. But then finally we found him to be there at 7 RCR. He had been there inside the uh, meeting and he has raised uh, uh, two issues in front of all the UPA allies and in front of uh, Congress leaders also. He largely talked about that how whatever he has been expecting about 
uh, as far as rail budget is concerned for Maharashtra, that okay. is not uh, something that he has seen in the rail budget that has come out. And also he has talked about, he has also raised his concerns about a uh, drought situation in Maharashtra. So NCP is not at all happy. Right, Vijay Lakshmi, and of course this is going to give a uh, fresh ammunition for uh, uh, the opposition uh, because uh, they have also been uh, saying uh, that... Uh, the budget is more uh, pro to pro uh, Congress uh, there, uh, but uh, thank you so much for that perspective, uh, Vijay Lakshmi, on that entire story. All right, time to take a very short break here. Coming up ahead is uh, that's entertainment. So keep watching music. जब से मैं अपने माँ के कोख में थी तब से मैं कह रही थी कि मैं हीरोइन बनूंगी आई एम नर्वस माई हैंड वर शेकिंग अच्छा मेरे पीछे बड़ा यार ओल द बैट फ्रॉम द वर्ल्ड ऑफ एंटरटेन वॉट That's entertainment next on News X. Catch the late night news, the last bulletin of the day. Every second is crucial, and every minute counts. Every single Indian is supported by the Congress party. Sansar ke bhero sabko ke Bharti Janata Party ko raj ko de. News happens everywhere, and we understand its significance. You can arrest them, but you're not doing that because you're scared. We focus on those major issues that really matter to you. Watch News X at nine at this time on News X. Shah Rukh Khan loaded I love Indian telugu I hi am back tu khud hi se pagal ho gaye bedo yaar hua iqrar hua hai pyaar se phir kyun darta hai dil anar kali आपकी आंखों में कुछ महके हुए से दिस मंथ वी सेलिब्रेट लव ऑन फ्लैश बैक एंड गेट यू इमोटल रोमांटिक सॉन्ग वॉच फ्लैश बैक एट दीज टाइम ऑन न्यूज एक्ट द मोस्ट इम्पोर्टेंट ओपिनियन मेकर्स The biggest issues that touch our lives. You are not going after the corrupt. You are not holding them accountable. The stories with maximum impact. Banga ye teji ke saath padne ka silsila jari. Government ka sabse bada fail ho rahi hai. Direct, unbiased, incisive. News X debate at these times on News X. The newest technology on the block, the hottest gadget in the market. Fun gizmos that will drive you crazy. Catch up with the ever-changing world of technology. Watch Tech and You at these times on News X. They came, they saw, they conquered. Now India's best entrepreneurs and CEOs tell you their stories. How they shaped up. struck up buckled down and made it big inspiring stories from incredible people watch brunch with india inc at this time on news x
Welcome, welcome to That's Entertainment with me, Akanksha Swaroop. And kick-starting today's show is the prince from the Kapoor clan, Ranbir Kapoor. Yes, people, Mr. Kapoor is going places and how. Apart from a string of hits, the actor is busy lending his face to various brands. Here is the actor at one such launch of a more.